What are you going to do to differentiate yourself from being called just another liberal Democrat? Well, I, uh, I've never put a label on myself. Um, I like to be a realist. Um, some people may, um, may look at me as a moderate Democrat. I like to, to see myself being a uh, legislator who is there to do a job. If I wanted just to advocate issues, mm -hmm. I would be a journalist mm -hmm. or I would be uh, involved heavily in the Democratic Party. Uh, but I was elected by Democrats, Republicans, no party affiliation, independents, uh, to do a job in, uh, in the state Senate. Uh, and that job is to do the best for the people, the 400,000 people in Senate District 30. That's, in my mind, what I'm sent up there to do. One of the bills that you had a lot to do with was the condo association bill, and uh, which seems to give more power to condo residents and homeowner uh, association people. Maybe you could just explain a little bit about what that will mean to them. What's happening throughout the state, not just in South Florida, but throughout the state, is that more and more units, whether they're in homeowner associations, cooperatives, or condominiums, are going into foreclosure. Now, what does this, what does this mean to a, a, a unit owner? To my constituents, who are most of them senior citizens, or in fixed income, what this means is that when so many units go into foreclosure, those folks who are still living there have to make up for the assessments and fees that these other folks are not paying anymore. And it gets to be a real issue uh, to the point where some folks just can't afford it anymore. So the bottom line is the people are suffering. Uh, they have no place to go. So this was a major change in our real estate law uh, that's been in place for the last 40, 50 years. So I'm very, very excited about it. And, um, and I've been going all over uh, the county, all of Palm Beach County. Uh, I call it my grand condo tour. Mm -hmm. And I go to uh, homeowners associations and condos and I explain how this bill will help them. Again, it's not a miracle law, but these are tough times. And it's a little bit of a step in the right direction to help people uh, to gain control of their condominiums and homeowners associations. I just want to ask you, what, what your assessment of President, looking at the federal government, what, what's your assessment of his accomplishments so far and um, any predictions on, on what's going to happen over the next couple of years? I think that uh, President Obama came into office on this tremendous popular quest and surge for change. Change is rocky at first. You know, the Greek word for change is crisis. So we are going through a lot of little crises with these momentous changes. And whether you like him or not, you have to applaud the fact that he has been fearless and persistent in wanting these changes. Now, it's not going to happen overnight. We're not going to uh, uh, find a lot of uh, favorable uh, momentum towards these changes. It's going to take a long time. Uh, but I think we need to give them the benefit of the doubt and see how the change plays out in this great country of ours. Healthcare and uh, Medicare. Uh, clearly you have been a supporter of Medicare for seniors for some time. Um, there are indications that the Obama health care bill may take away some money for Medicare. And uh, I just wondered if you had, what, what was your take on, on that part of the bill? The changes that are going to occur to Medicare um, are frightening to a lot of people because they depend on it. It's like changing Social Security. Um, but I think that it's a, uh, the only way that you can effectuate real change in our health care system is you have to touch Medicare. Right. Ah, there's no other way around it. What the government needs to do first, I'm an old prosecutor. First thing we need to do is to clean it up. The fraud that's so uh, much a part and, and, and reeks, Medicare just reeks of the fraud that has been uh, going on for so many years. 
Uh, it's really endemic to the whole program. I would have preferred, if I were, you know, king of the day there, if I would have preferred uh, to have put uh, more uh, money into prosecution and investigation of the fraud that's in Medicare. We're waiting for the other shoe to drop, mm -hmm. um, and I think it's going to be, uh, it's, it's a little worrisome. Um, but if, if anybody has any questions, they're more than welcome to call me, call this office, and we'll help them through these changes as it, as it comes through. Do you want to give our, the numbers Absolutely. so we can Absolutely. put it? Yeah. I'm here at 561-266-6645. I'd be more than happy to help. So everyone out there can, knows who to, who to contact and how to contact her. And, uh, as she moves on, we, we congratulate you again for uh, you. a fantastic election. Yes, <laughs> yes, I'm very happy about yeah. it. Well, we'll, we'll look for you out there, everyone. And thank you. Thank you for the opportunity. We'll hope to be back.